Hello everyone, welcome back to the Disc Golf Experience YouTube channel. I'm going to do something a little different. Uh, this is in regards to my most popular league that I've run over the years. It's called Manic Mondays. Uh, every week we do a different format. Uh, one night every hole is a CTP contest for your group and your payout is based on how many CTPs you get. Another night's called Mando Night, and every hole has its own rule uh, that you have to abide by. Uh, the most recent discussion that was added was a, a mandatory forehand or more mandatory roller. Um, that was a, a fun one. Got some complaints and got a lot of people that supported it. So, but the intent behind every format is to make you think differently about the game. So it's really it's on the Valley View uh, Park in New Berlin, Wisconsin, which is the shortest kind of beginner friendly course that we have. So it's really set up for uh, training grounds to kind of get people in the game, get them started, and get them learning. And that's why I do that format. But uh, because it's been my most popular league, um, I put a little bit more into the trophies than I do some of the other ones. Uh, I spend a quite a few dollars every year on these trophies but they're a hit and everybody wants them i've got people that have won like they already have like a nine hole course uh and i'll explain that as you'll see as soon as i open the first package what that might mean but um so anyways i'm gonna do some openings there might be a a sports card or two mixed in here i don't know but i've got uh, about 20 packages i'm gonna open and I'm going to then uh, build the trophy out so that you can see the finished product. But I'll first start by opening everything and get it all out here. What do we got? We got some Lego. Lego base plate. Package one. This should also probably be based on the size. Big bundle. Of some more base plates so Legos are very expensive uh, I didn't realize that when I first started doing this but eventually I found a or not a supplier but a website to use called bricklink.com and you can basically hand select each individual item you want um, from hundreds of people that have Legos for sale so it made it a lot cheaper to go through them than through eBay and ordering one or two at a time. Um, this looks like I got a card here. I've been waiting for two or three different cards. So forgive me for this being in the mail order unboxing. We got the Ricky Wysocki autograph from 2022 uh, Brixton OTB. Number 25 out of 25. That's a big one I've been waiting for. In fact, I think in the video I didn't even remember that I needed it. And it was already on the way when I produced that last video of the OTB set. We'll just set that on top. Uh, keep going on the intent for this video. More base plates. These are smaller, so I do have a different size for first, second, third. We got some fences. Oh, these are the discs that you can put in the player's hand. Oh, I got a lot of the discs. I'm loaded for years on that. And this is part that gets used to create the basket here. Those are all... Alright. 
Okay. More picket fence. More of the part of the basket assembly. But I do have some of these parts already um, that I will pull out only what I need to produce the, the baskets and show you what they look like when they're done. Garbage cans. Ooh, that's 10 years worth of garbage cans. Looks like I got to keep this lead going for a, a long time. But sometimes it pays. They, they have minimum orders. Oh my gosh. I do use a lot of the pick a fence because uh, they line the edge of the of the trophy. More of the basket assembly. Just got finished watching the end of the Portland Open. No spoilers in live sports. All I'm going to say, happy for my uh, Wisconsin native. I'll leave it at that. These are the minifigures, so you, you get to select uh, your, own, your own character, basically. Got Santa in there, some construction workers, some bandits some females don't think we have yeah we don't have a women's division this season but we often do have two or three women competing um, the ones that the women that we do have this year are playing in the higher division so uh, oh we got another card this is one of the other ones that I've been waiting for. Pretty excited to add the Owen Scoggins Relic. Numbered 10 out of 20 down here. So that gets me one short. Owen, Kristen, Brody, Henna. Missy Gannon, Paige Pierce, Gannon Burr, Evelina Salon, Eagle McMahon, Paul McBath, Ricky Wysocki, 3, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and there are 12, and the 12th that I need is Simon Lazat. There's one on eBay, but I'm not paying the price they want for it. This might also be a card. I think this was a trade that I made. Yep. Austin Hannum foil. Uh, I believe I have that one already. Yep, that's just one for trade. I don't remember. I think I sent him some some of the common cards. But anyways, get back to the task at hand. <clears throat> These last two should be more Legos. And then I'm going to stop the video, the production. Oh my, big old pile of evergreen trees. And I'm sure there's still a few more packages on their way. I ordered from about... 15 
dealers on Bricklink. Here we got the mid-size base plate. Actually, that might be the smallest now. I Every year I vowed to continue to make the trophies better in some fashion. Um, so I went away from the um, the small base plates that I used to use and have gone bigger. So that's all those packages. I'm going to stop the video right now and bring out all the pieces that I need to make it. Uh, the only thing that I don't have, I believe, to complete the first place trophy or any of the trophies are the name plates that I typically have ordered from a, a trophy maker and I've had a hard time getting a hold of my trophy maker lately. I, I hope he's okay but he's been operating out of his house for about a year so I may have to find a new source for those but um, anyways I'll uh, I'll splice the videos together um, I'm just gonna go grab the other stuff I didn't have a whole lot of room here to have everything laid out um, but I'll the rest of the video will be me assembling the trophies um, first second and third all right thanks all right, I'm back. Got all my parts. I'm gonna start with the. Let's kind of shove a little room here, so you can see what I'm doing. Not that this is all that difficult or proprietary or anything. Uh, I I know I had seen some Lego stuff, uh, disc golf related online. Um, I don't particularly recall where or what what inspired me to do this. I kind of came up with my own style as far as I recall. I don't remember taking anything from anyone. It's possible maybe the basket inspired me, but obviously the rest of the parts are pretty straightforward. Uh, but here I'm going to build the basket. It's a one radar dish, satellite dish two of these little stud one by one stud then the middle basket assembly I've seen uh, there are some chains out there but I don't think I found a way to make that work um, so unless you have something that you think would work for that scenario that would be pretty cool to have chains on it um, but I have not figured anything out, so I'm just going to pick a random character here, and these are bags of accessories. I've got a big old container. There's even some heads in there. <laughs> oh boy. But I'm just going to pick because it's the most obtrusive accessory on there. I'm going to choose that. And then I'm going to go, we'll call this the Heimberg. This kind of looks like a pizza. You just kind of snap that disc in there, in their hand. They fit righty or lefty. Put them on the T. And that is your third place trophy. Um, I thought I saw. Little helmet here. Doesn't particularly go with that minifigure, but I don't care. You can make yourself whoever you want to be. Little hyzer shot into the basket. And then that fence there is where I would put the metal plate, uh, plate that says Manic Mondays, Spring 2023, um, third place.
and then division. So we have four divisions for this one, for this league. And we sometimes, like I said, have a women's division also. Uh, but currently we didn't have that division this spring. So, so that's third. I'm just going to do this before I lose all these pieces. So this was like, I want to say 10 or 15 bucks worth of accessories, just stuff that you can put in their hands. Uh, Oh, there's even some hands in there. Unless maybe those get used for other things. I don't know. Forgive me one second here. So that's third place. And second gets a little bigger base and a little more detail to it. Sorry, one more. All right, so move on to the 10 by 20. Third place gets 8 by 16, and it used to get a 4 by 8 <laughs> with no T pad. We didn't give him a tee pad. It was playing from grass. Um, I don't, I believe there might have been a tree on those original ones. I don't recall. But instead of a basket, all I did was put these two studs out there on the end and called it a tone pole. So everybody was always trying to make sure they got second the next year so they could get an actual basket. But that was one of the upgrades I made. So on the second place, you get an upgrade to a uh, eight foot T pad instead of a six footer or six pegs, six knots, uh, whatever they're called, dots. And this one's eight. So I suppose standard would be maybe that's twelve, and the three is is maybe eight footer if you want to really critique this. This is not to scale, quite obviously. The basket is taller than the than the minifigure. Um, you get the basket out there. And then here they get a fence line the whole way, not just to house the plate. Then there's these pivoting pieces. You need two of those and three of these. So we got one there, two there. So this is always one of the funner, maybe I shouldn't say funner nights. <laughs> that would be kind of depressing. But in terms of disc golf perspective, I always enjoy, uh, I, I really love the league atmosphere and being able to give somebody a, a trophy for playing well. I really enjoy it. Um, and hopefully it you know keeps them coming back. Uh, I want them to enjoy themselves and whoa we got a Bart Simpson's head that's pretty special looking for another accessory here to give this player we'll make this person a lefty thrower Snap it in. There we go. A little 
little bent. And we'll give them the standing on the tee pad. Then this second place gets two trees, so it's a much more wooded course. Give them a little tunnel shot through the middle there. Um, and I think that's it. Yep. So you get the upgrade is to the bench, the full fence line, an extra tree, the longer tee pad, and a little flower near the tee pad for grooming purposes. And then you get to pick your pick your minifigure. There's the hole. All right, so that's second place. And then third, excuse me, first, the champion gets the four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, oh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve by twenty-four. They still get the regular T pad. They're going to get their bench. They're going to get a garbage can. And then the flower. Right next to the garbage can, of course. Which I think that was the way it goes. It gives a little more room for the flower. Give them their fence line. This is always a little time consuming to get it to look right. Because they get three trees. And they get a little pond. It's not really a perfect way of doing it. But I put a little pond out there and some flowering lilies in the middle of it. So that's your other obstacle. And their character. Hawaii, Hawaii Joe. I don't know who that is. They're going to get uh, that. And then this person is all business on the course, but they're in Hawaii with this Hawaiian shirt. Oh, does it not stay? Oh, it opens up. They do hide things in there. Let's see if that stays. Yes. All right. So this person got the bear claw. That's in the wrong spot. 
There we go. No, that's not right. Hmm. I don't remember how it goes exactly. It doesn't matter. It's not perfect. Just trying to give it enough space. And then the, pl the plight would go right in here so it's visible. Um... And then lastly, first place gets a trophy. What's going on here? We got a broken piece or something. Hmm. Try it for me. That one's working better. All right. And then they also get a trophy cup. So, that is first place from above. Little drone flyover. Ready? Um, wow, I can't believe I just did that. Anyways, there's a little side, side view. And then lengthwise you can see what it looks like. How about from the T-pad? Player's perspective. Oh, that's pretty cool. Anyways, long video for uh, just a little show of what my trophies are like for my Manic Mondays League. It's now, um, this might be the 10th year. I think we started in 2013. This is year 11 I've been running this league. So we're averaging about 50, 50 people per uh, per night. Um, there were a few times we've been up to 75, 80 people. Nothing like the uh, turnout that we continuously get at Sussex, which is 70 to 80 plus people a week. Um, but it's it's really the, the one league that I will, as long as I am able... I will continue to run it. Um, I've had to have other people step in and help out at other leagues just because I don't have the time to be away from the store. Um, like I used to, <laughs> literally I used to run four nights a week. I was gone for a league. Uh, wasn't the greatest for the home life, so I had to dial that back. Um, and that was also before I had set store hours, so I had more time during the day um, to do other things, household things and whatnot. But um, anyway, so that's the story. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. I don't think you'll be able to see all three in the screen at once, but maybe I can zoom out myself. Just go up. So there's your comparison between the first, second, and third place trophies. All right, that's going to wrap it up.